This is Kapil Singhal uh, from BP Ref Cool, and let me introduce to you today uh, Blend Vaporizer. Uh, this is another innovation uh, which BP Ref Cool is proud to introduce into the market. Uh, what it does, it helps you in charging refrigerant into system. How it helps, uh, you know, before we go into how it works and how it helps, uh, let let us discuss about you know how a refrigerant charging is generally done uh, in today scenario. So we generally charge liquid, whether it is a single component or it is a blend. But we charge liquid from we take liquid from cylinder and charge it onto the suction side of the system. Why we charge on suction side of the system is because the pressure in the suction side of system is lower than the pressure in the cylinder. And if we try to charge on the discharge side, which is the liquid side, uh, the pressure is higher, so it, we will not be able to charge. So that's why we charge on the suction side of the system and uh, we take liquid from the cylinder. When we take liquid from the cylinder and put it into the suction side, the problem we are going to get is the liquid tries to enter the compressor where compressor is not designed to handle liquid. Compressor is designed to handle vapors. So if liquid enters, it impacts uh, the compressor and that can damage the compressor. And a lot of time we experience that we hear knocking noise. So we stop charging, we you know give pauses in charging. So what we are doing is we are sending the pulse of good quantity of refrigerant in liquid, uh, which is not healthy uh, way of charging. Uh, the another problem with this type of charging, what we face is overcharging because we are giving pulse of the refrigerant. Uh, it ends up in having a very good amount of refrigerant going in one go. So to have a better control on the charging, it's very difficult. So once we feel the charging is complete, after 10-15 minutes of running the system, we see you no, know, the pressures are rising, probably we have overcharged. So in both cases, whether liquid enters the compressor or we are overcharging, this kind of charging method is not very appropriate for us. Now, you know, sometimes, you know, people ask, you know, why can't we have direct vapor uh, from the cylinder for charging and what impact it will have? So there are a couple of things, you know, one is when you are charging vapor from the cylinder, if it is a single component, technically that is okay. If you are charging from blend, then the composition of the blend in vapor phase is not suitable to be charged uh, in, in uh, the system. So for blends, you need to anyways take liquid from the cylinder, otherwise the composition of the different components uh, is going to change. The low boiler in the component will be higher in percentage in vapor phase. But even in case of a single component refrigerant, say for example, 134A or 22 or any other single component refrigerant, what happens, you know, as you start to take vapor from the cylinder for charging, uh, the amount of vapor you are taking, the pressure in the cylinder comes down. So what you will feel is that the cylinder from where you are doing the charging, the pressure comes down and the charging almost stops. So when it stops or it slows down, then the charging becomes very difficult. Sometimes, you know, people heat uh, the cylinder for charging, but we don't recommend heating the cylinder because in India, heating of cylinders is not allowed. Any filled gas cylinder cannot be, uh, you know, heated for any temperature as per uh, explosive rules of India. So in that case, what industry was living with was liquid charging and then using skill to eliminate the chances of uh, liquid entering the compressor and appropriate charging. So what this product does now is uh, this eliminates the skill level or this reduces the skill level required to judge uh, when charging is appropriate. So what it does is it converts liquid into vapor. So what you need to take from the cylinder is liquid but what you're charging into the system is vapor. How it does is it's a small uh, kind of an expansion device you can say because it throttles. So there is a small orifice inside and what you need to do is you need to connect it onto the cylinder and then let the liquid come. When you say let the liquid come, you know, either you invert the cylinder or you have a dip tube, then you let the liquid come from the liquid valve. And then you put the charging valve, uh, charging uh, manifold or uh, charging hose. What we recommend for this, this is right now quarter inch blend vaporizer. We, we would be needing around three feet of hose at least so that it vaporizes everything when it reaches the compressor. So you need to connect there, the liquid enter in, there is small orifice that expands and this expand, uh, expanded liquid 
vaporizes and then goes to the compressor so by this what you're doing is you're taking liquid so you are not you know reducing the flow of refrigerant because of vapor intake and then uh, you are not allowing liquid to enter to the compressor so liquid is not entering into the compressor the damage of compressor uh, is not going to happen for that reason and second thing is since it is much slower and steady as compared to the pulse charging of liquid you can better control the amount of charging it is slower than liquid charging but it is much faster than vapor charging so you will be able to control and manage the liquid charging without any danger onto the compressor so try it it's available you can get more information at bprefcool.com thank you bye bye have a nice day